from today's ai class we will start the second part of fourth unit that is perception the topics will cover under perception are uh, the image formation early image processing operation object recognition by appearance and reconstructing the 3d world object recognition from structural information and using perceptions so these are the topics that will come under the second part of fourth unit that is perceptions what is meant by perception perception provides agent with information about the environment by interpreting the response of sensors that is the agent is working its own environment okay and the current uh, environment will be perceived by the agent by using sensors so agent have many type of sensors through the sensors it will accept the input from the environment okay and the sensors are different types uh, the they may include vision sensors hearing sensors and touch sensors okay some special sensors are also there though that will be used in the robots and they send out a signal that is radar or ultrasound signals and that will sense the reflection of these signals of the environment okay so the robot will send the ultrasound and that will be hit an object and that will be written back to the uh, robot okay so this is called as active sensing the first one is vision sensor it has two components first one is an object model and second one is a rendering model what is meant by object model the object model which describes objects that are uh, in the visual world okay that means uh, the object may be people building trees cars etc okay what are the objects are there in the environment and uh, it will describe those objects then this is called as object model okay that is an object model could include the details about 3d geometric model taken from cad system that is computer aided design system okay that means uh, the object model will gives the details about all the objects in the environment the second one is rendering model it is somewhat advanced from the object model which describes the physical geometric and statistical process that produce the stimulus from the world okay how the object is looks in the environment that will be given by the rendering model okay so this model is very accurate but they are ambiguous why it is ambiguous that is the white object under low light white object under low light which are similar as the black object under bright light okay so both the object will look uh, same that means the white object under low light and black object under bright light those two objects looks very similar okay and the second one is the small object nearby and the large object in distance are look like a same size okay so by these reasons the rendering model is quite ambiguous okay and without additional evidence we cannot tell the image that fills the frame is toy godzilla or real monster okay so if the object is very close to the um, camera then it looks very big but the very big object that placed actually in somewhat distance then it looks a very small object it seems very small object this ambiguity may be managed with prior knowledge the prior knowledge is actually stored in our data set um, data set okay here we are having a special sensor called as decision theoretic agent so this agent is having its own architecture with a special uh, vision sensors uh, and uh, here a uh, flies are uh, flying animals uh, like the agent okay that uh, try to land on the object which is on the ground okay now our system that is the decision theoretic agent is having the visual system uh, it is having the visual system which extract 
the estimate of distance to the object. So, from here to here what will be the distance that will be estimated and it is also having control system which adjusts the wing muscles accordingly. Okay. So, uh, based on the distance the speed will be adjust and the direction should also be controlled okay. and with no need of detailed model of the object. Okay. We need not worry about the structure of object. The next is uh, three categories of perception problem. Uh, the first one is future extraction that is future extraction approach here. Uh, there is a simple computation which applied directly to the sensor uh, sensor observations. Okay, so, by using a very simple computation we can extract futures uh, from the objects which are observed from the environment. Okay. And second approach is the recognition approach. So, this is somewhat advanced from the future approach here the agent draws distinctions among the object it identifies. Okay. So, suppose if more than one object on the environment it draw uh, the lines on the objects so that it can easily differentiate one object from another object. Okay. So, this is called as object recognition otherwise and the third one is the reconstruction approach. That means, the agent builds geometric model of the world from the image or set of images. So, that is called as reconstruction image. So far, we have seen the introduction of perception uh, that is the second part of 14 8. In the next class, we will see the image formation. After that, we can complete all the other topics from the, uh, the fourth unit, remaining part of fourth unit. And for more information, please go through your textbook. Thank you.